What is going on guys, it's Waffy here and welcome back to some more Ark Valgaro. Now last time we left off, we went around and explored the map a little bit more, especially that one uh, aberration like cave that you guys wanted me to explore uh, because we only we only ever went over there and like our wyvern died and then we just straight up left so we never really explored that, which was really interesting and then we also discovered, hey, there is indeed a like the three bosses that you could do here in Valgaro. Uh, I don't know where, where can I show that? I need like a supply drop or something like that nearby. Uh, I see one all the way back there. Eh, there's none like really near our base, but there, there's a alpha, gamma, uh, not in this order, <laughs> and a beta boss that we could do. And then between this episode and last episode, I went like on a whole entire spree trying to find all the resources that we need, and of course the uh, artifacts that we need as well, because I had literally no artifacts at the end of the last episode, so I had to go around and uh, gather all those up as well as uh. Allosaurus Brains, Architavis Talons, uh, what else did I need here? Sarkazuga Skin, Titanobo Venom, and Tyrannosaurus Arms. So I have everything over here, which I- oh, and, uh, two Gigantosaurus Hearts. So I have everything I need over here, which is great. And then, of course, the, uh, the artifacts over here. Artifact of the Gatekeeper, Brute, Crag, and Destroyer. I don't know how many, uh, artifacts. I had literally, by, like I said, literally zero artifacts at the end of the last episode and between this episode and last episode. I don't know how many I can artifact or the greats I've killed. I did do Destroy All Wild Dinos a few times to hopefully, uh, y you know, just to kind of spark more of those guys to spawn in after I killed like four or five of them and the whole map was empty. So that's why I have so many artifacts over here, which is good. But it took this many heckin' artifacts, uh, you know, gathering this many artifacts until I had all the four of them that I need to do the alpha battle. I don't think we're going to be doing the gamma or the beta battle here just because those require a bunch of other stuff. Even more Isle Source Brains, Archer Chavis Talons, and then Artifact to the Cunning, Destroyer, uh, Immune. Oh wait, no, not Destroyer, uh, Devourer, Immune, Pack, Skylord, Strong, and then even more Sarkasuka Sarka Skins, Sauropod Verbrae, and uh, Titanoba Venom, and T-Rex Arms. It needs like a whole bunch, if I wanted to do all three of those then I could do that, I, I think we might be good enough just to do the Alpha Battle this episode, you guys. So I have everything we need for the Alpha Battle. Now what are we going to be doing for the Alpha Battle? Like, like what, what creature are we going to be taking to the Bass? Not the Bass Arena, <laughs> the Bottle, Boss Battle Arena, whatever it's called, golly! I think, like I said at the end of the last episode, I think we're going to be taking our thorny dragon over there, but I don't know, that guy might be a little bit too heavy. You could only have a creature that weighs 550, I think 550 pounds of uh, drag weight, uh, yeah, before it's like too heavy to, you know, teleport to the boss arena from like a supply drop or one of the obelisks or whatever. So what I want to do this episode is make one of those elevator or uh, elevate elevator like platform things. Here we go. Let's get a large one. I guess if we make it out of wood, I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, should be able to do that. Hold on. Is there an S plus version of this? Uh, only like metal it looks like. Yeah, not not the regular types there, so that kind of sucks. I guess we the regular large. Now, where, where do I make that? Smithy over here, probably? I, I guess. Let's see. Platform. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so is that able? Oh, here we go. Nice. All right, so it's making that. That's good. So we'll just be able to place that down and it'll actually tell us how much our creature heckin' weighs for the drag weight thing. So we'll not have to worry about the being like, oh man, is it way too much? Is it way, uh, does it weigh just enough or whatever else? Now, I already know that like T-Rexes, those guys are fine. I don't know if I'll take like an alpha T-Rex, which is all we have right there. Indominuses, yeah, those guys weigh way too much. And of course, all the different variants of Indominuses and uh, Empresses and Emperors and whatever else they, they can know the destroyer over there. I'm sure that guy weighs way too much, right? But uh, for right now, no snap point. Oh wait, what is this? What is it? What, what does it need? Hold on. Elevator. Does it need like an elevator? Like sh oh yeah, an elevator track. I need to get that as well. Man. All right, let's go. Let's go make that as well. And then we can place this down. It'll just be randomly out here. <laughs> There's no nowhere for it to go up or down or anything. Like that. It's just going to be basically just a scale in the middle of our heckin' dino area there. <laughs> so let's see. Let's make a track over here. Uh, there you go. Uh, I'll get like five of them just because I don't know how big it needs to be. So let's get five of those going. And then once we actually do this boss battle, I do have a few other things I want to do. I, I want to go around the map and try and find, I think it's in the, like the jungle type area. You guys said, hey, why don't, why don't you go over to the, you guys remember there's like a big like spider part of the map. They had like spider webs and like a, a T-Rex was like webbed up inside the spider webs and stuff like that. I definitely want to go over there because you guys said there's like a cave over there, just like the Aberration Cave where we could actually fight like an Uranium Broodmother boss. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, and I'm sure there's going to be... Actually, I think there might be like an... Expo hold on. Is there like an ex exploration map for Valgar? I'm going to have to pull up the heckin' wiki here. Hold on. There might be an exploration map for Valgar that shows you like cave entrances and stuff like that. So... Oh yeah, here you go, yeah. There are a lot of cave entrances all over the place, you guys. Holy heck. Well, not all these entrances... I'm, I'm going to show it on the map right now. Not all these cave entrances are going to be like huge things like the Valgaro thing. 
I'm sure a lot of these are like small little tunnels that you can go through and, uh, you, you know, hide from predators and whatnot. Uh, there might be a few of them there that I might want to go check out just to see what's over there. Like that right side there. Seems like there's a lot of cave entrances over there. I might want to see if there's anything over there. I think that's the jungle area. That might be where the, the brood mother might be. And then over there to the left, there's a few uh, cave entrances that might have some stuff as well. So that might be pretty interesting. I'll, I'll definitely have to go check those out. But that's that's pretty cool. So either way, let's place down the elevator over here. See how much this guy, guy weighs. Hopefully he doesn't weigh too much. Uh, let's do it like at the top of this area. That's fine. And let's see, can I place this down? Yes, I can. Awesome. Okay, so let's see. Is it it's supposed to show you? Okay. Yeah, I weigh 320.11 pounds, which should be, yeah, on my weight right there, 285 and then 320. So do I weigh like 40 pounds on my own or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, anyways, let me let me get the thorny dragon. You have to empty out his inventory as well as the saddle and stuff like that. Uh, so you can actually see like the accurate weight of him and stuff like that. So yeah, this platform's heck and tiny. I don't know. He might be too heck and heavy, you guys. So uh Yeah, or or we can just subtract why can't I Why can't Oh man. It's not letting me get off of him while I'm on top of the Okay, there you go. So is this still uh Yeah, he's not on top. Okay, let me let me let him follow me here. It's not I can't like get oh yeah, I can't like dismount him whenever I'm uh Oh he only weighs 170? What? Did they, did they, I guess Primal Fear never changed like the drag weight or anything like that for the because I'm pretty sure 170. That's got to be how much a regular thorny dragon weighs. If I had a regular thorny, I don't know. I'm half inclined to like spawn one in like uh, cheap, like tame it just so I could actually put it here and see how much it weighs. I'm sure actually I can look that up, right? I, I think I can look up the drag weights of creatures. Hold on. E no, the thorny dragon eggs. Oh yeah, 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 thorny dragon weighs 150 pounds. This says 170 because he still has a sat on him, which weighs 20 pounds. So that makes sense. Yeah, I'll leave that 20 pounds right there. So <laughs> they never changed the drag weight whenever they did primal fear, like made the the demonic, the fallen dom demonic thorny dragon, which is like 10 times as big as a regular thorny dragon. Like golly. All right, well I guess we could take that guy. I also got some comments from guys saying, hey, why don't you? I could ride. Okay, I could ride him just fine right now. Okay, that's good. Uh, also got some comments that we guys saying, hey, why don't you just, because he has such good armor, he has such good weapons with the heckin' club fire torch thing there that we got from Pycon's uh, Revenge, or whatever it's called. Uh, where am I going with this guy? I guess we'll just go out, out the gate. Uh, but you guys said, hey, why, why don't you just like solo it with your armor, with your heckin' club uh, torch thing? I could probably defeat the boss, no problem on my own, but uh, I, I guess I'll just take my thorny dragon just in case, right? So we're pretty much ready right now, right? We've got everything we need. Uh, I might as well put the stuff back in his inventory, so put that up. Uh, let's see. Oh man, I think the, uh, I think it's, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, stacked up there. So let's put that back. And there you go. I think we're good. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll put all the other trash in his inventory just because I don't want to have it in my inventory, all right? So there you go. But either way, oh man, there's like a sl What in the world? Whoa! Something all the way back there, golly! I don't know what that was. Nah, man, if it was nighttime right now, that would be really good, but. I need to go around the map right now, because we ha I think we have everything we need. We got all the artifacts, we have all these things over here. I, I need to go find like either a supply drop or go oh, or go to one of the nearby obelisks. I guess we'll go to that. I'll, I'll start heading towards the green obelisk, and if I start seeing like a like, like a supply drop near me, then of course I can actually just go to the supply drop instead of going all the way to the obelisk. So let me just pause the recording real quick, head on over to something that could teleport us over to a boss arena. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit, and we can actually take on this boss and see how hard it is or how he- Oh, oh! Hey, look at that, my bro- Ah! My brethren! Why are you attacking me? There's something over there attacking me as well. Oh, it's a Celestial Ar- or, uh, it's not a Celestial Argy. Celestial, uh, let's get this out. Allosaurus is what it's called, golly. Now, where is it? I see the Allosaurus up there, but I think the Thorny Dragon guy, I think he died. Boom! Celestial- Oh, we know it's a Celestial Rex up there. Nice! Got him! <laughs> Either way, there's still battle music playing right now. I don't know why. Either way, I'm going to start heading towards the heckin', just like I said, heading towards the obelisk. If I find any supply drops or anything like that, then of course we could use that to teleport over. But if not, then I'll just see you guys over at the green obelisk right there. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I am back. I'm here at the green obelisk, and uh, I've got everything in my inventory that I need for the uh, portal to the Guardian Sanctuary. Okay, I think we have everything. But I, I have some extras over here just because, you know, after a little while, you kind of kill some extras. So, oh man, that's all of them, I think. Hold on. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Look at that green outline around the alpha one right there. Noise, minimum level requirement, 70, uh, we're 237. Even though we're supposed to be like level three, 
310 or a 312 or so. I forget what this specific level is supposed to be, but uh, we lost some levels pretty recently when Heart Genesis Part 2 came out for some strange reason. I don't know why, but it just kind of happened. Either way, let's do Portal to the Guardian Sanctuary. This guy should be able to teleport over there with me. So let's just do this. Oh, yeah. Look at all the room they give you. We just have to stay inside of the circle here. The teleportation circle. Oh, man. Up to 20 tames allowed. Yeah, well, we only have one on me right now. So I don't even, we might not even need this guy, to be quite honest. We might be fine without him, but uh, let's make sure we're... Yep, there you go. Boom, powered up. And uh, probably don't even need that. Like I said, we're probably going to be doing just enough damage anyways. So when we're... Oh, man, that Parasaur is going to get burned alive. Look at his health on the left side. Oh, he's on fire. He's dying. Anyways. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Wait, did it work? Oh, wait. Is this guy not allowed in the arena? I feel like... Uh, he's supposed to be going... He's one, 170 drag weight. Like, wait, what? Ah, man, did I... I think something got messed up there. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's still able to teleport even though... Well, it, it, yeah, why did... I don't know. I'm super confused right now. Uh, I might have to reload a save. Thankfully, I did a save right before I came. Okay, you know what? Uh, hey, I got to reload that save before I came over here and and, and plugged all those things in the green holodisk and did. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I guess the thorny dragon can't go with us. So uh, I guess we'll put all that up there. Is that it? Wait, what, what, what am I missing? Hold on. Tita okay, Titan. Oh, man. I'm okay, there you go. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Boom. There you go. Uh, up to... Yeah, I don't I don't know if you could be riding a creature. This guy should have teleported with us, but I'm, I'm just going to be not riding him, just in case. And if he doesn't teleport the, to the boss arena, I guess maybe Primal Fear creatures or modded creatures in general aren't allowed to go to the, the battle arenas and stuff like that. I don't know. I can't really remember any... Uh, yeah, back on the center, I took regular... I think it was regular T-Rexes. And then Ragnarok. I don't think we ever went to any... I don't think we ever went to any... I don't know if there were any boss battles there. Oh, wait, no, there you go. Wait, what? Why did it not work just a minute ago? He's right here. I'm so confused. Oh, my God. Manticore. Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Jeez. Oh, my God. Get back. Get back. Adam. Three bosses. What? Oh, my God. Hold on. How much health does everything have? Oh, jeez. I just hit something right there. I hit a terrain on. Okay. Charge up. Dragon just got defeated randomly. What? Manticore, how much health? 160,000. What? That is nothing. That is absolutely and utterly not. I can just, oh, yeah, you know, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's hit him with that can club here. Hey, uh, let's hit the Manticore with the club. Oh, man. There's, oh, there's a Mega Pythagus down there as well. <laughs> Holy heck. Well, I get over here, trash. Oh, I'm going to get hit, but I'm going to get heck and killed or like knocked out or something like that from this guy. My jetpack glide suit thing isn't really doing too well. Moon around maneuvering him. Oh! Somehow's avoiding his hits right there, which is good. Come on, get down here, Manticore trash. My Thorny Dragon should be able to soak up like all the heckin' hits. The, the Megapithecus might be done. Oh, I do not get hit by the rock! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Manticore down! 757,000 damage. And the Megapithecus. Boom! Two million Megapithecus just got torn to shreds. Immediately despawned right there. He knew he couldn't handle me. <laughs> Holy heck! That was the most underwhelming boss battle in the, in the known universe. The Mega Mythicus just despawns immediately. A Manticore, every, everything literally just gets one shot. The heckin' dragon, do, I, no, no one even hit the dragon. No, nothing hit the dragon directly. He just went inside of, like the lingering damage over time uh, area of effect. I think his dead body came even harvested. <laughs> He just died because he like flew into that for a split second and took like a billion damage. Like, golly. Yeah, we're way too overpowered for this. Like, they have a hundred and some thousand health. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Maybe we'll just use our shotgun or something like that against him. You know what? Maybe I should just reload the save. Forget the thorny dragon. Forget my heckin' club thing here that does like 12 million damage. Jeez, maybe I should just use the shotgun. I don't even, is this a modded shotgun? Uh, it is. Yeah, it's a primal shotgun, so it will do a little bit more damage, but I suppose it'll be a little bit more fair than literally just one-shotting everything there without even caring in the world. <laughs> Jeez. Or I guess I could use something like a sword. I don't know if I have a sword at home. I'm like, I've got a chainsaw. Should I use a chainsaw against him? I don't know. Hey, look at this. Manticore leggings. We got the uh, dragon flag, the alpha dragon trophy, manticore flag, uh, manticore shield and skins and stuff like that. Yeah. 
Uh, then the Magical Trophy, and then the Gorilla Flag, and Alpha Mega Mythicus Trophy, so... Hey, we got some pretty good uh, little prizes right there, but... I, I, I kind of want to reload my save again, and just do that again, but... I, I don't I don't know, with the chainsaw or something like that, I don't know how much this does. What, what, what is this? God Lyeth, which obviously Ascendant was is the highest, like, tier or whatever before mods are installed, so... I, I guess this is still even more powerful than, like, an Ascendant one, but... I guess it's, a li it's probably the most fair we can make so Why is everything, like, so dark? Everything was, like, really, really dark there. Like, ex like it's pitch black where the tr like under where the trees are and stuff like that. Hold on. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, you guys. It's kind of crazy. Either way, uh, I guess I'll reload that save again, and <laughs> I guess we could try and kill them a little bit more as fair as possible. I guess you could say I don't, I don't know. We're just way too powerful for this. This is why, this is why I jumped to the alpha one because I knew I was going to be powerful anyways. But I didn't know I'd still be that powerful. Golly. Either way, yeah, like I said, let me reload that save and I guess we'll try and kill him with a chainsaw or a pickaxe or something. I don't know. <laughs> so I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, are back. Uh, I guess we'll use the chainsaw this time. <laughs> Anyways, about five seconds till we get teleported. This is a really cool thing I forgot about the boss teleport thing is that you can see it's like slowly showing the, the boss arena as you're loading in there, which is really cool. I guess we'll keep this guy behind. Now, where are the bosses? Oh, th there you go. Dragon there. Is that right? Yeah, dragon, alpha dragon. Oh, less than a million health. Pfft. 160,000 on the band core. That's like nothing. And over there, Mega Pick is 540,000. Not bad, I guess. Then, of course, we have our shotgun here we could use, which I don't know how much damage that's going to do, but uh, I guess I'll load up. Yep. And I guess we'll start doing a little bit of damage. Of course, we need to be a little bit closer than, uh... Ow! Oh, that was a bunch of thousand damages right there. That's good. Oh, whoops. Don't want to use that. That's a little bit of cheating right there, right? Let's get our chainsaw out and kill all these Tyrannos. <laughs> how much else do these Tyrannos... Somehow... I'm making the Tyrannos fall asleep. Wait, no, no, no. That's because of the Manticore doing some sort of torpidity thing right there. Interesting. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, Manticore, door up. Turn it on there. You go. Oh, Manticore right here. Oh, man, we're doing 97 damage up front. And oh, my. Ah, we just got knocked out. No. <laughs> He's feasting on my dead body. Or a sleeping body. He's doing a singular damage to us, you guys. Look at that. We did it. He's out 148.9k health. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> That's mostly because of our Rack and Jacken, but. I think I'm just going to be stuck pinned underneath him because he's going to constantly keep doing more torpedo to me and I'll never be able to wake up. And there's the dragon back here. Wait, no, it's to make a bit back there. Hold on. What is that? Elliot, the dragon and the manticore are both attacking me right now. They have their, both their health bars are like right here. Uh, all the, oh wait, manticore just went up. Okay, there's the dragon. Hey, may I finally be able to wake up? I don't know. My torpedo is still completely and utterly full right now. Like it's not moving. So I don't, I don't know if I'm going to wake up from this, which is crazy. I'm taking literally zero damage from the Alpha Dragon right now. The boss of the the one with the most health, too. And we're taking zero damage. Like, godly. All right, well, huh. you know, just wait until I wake up here and uh, we'll try and uh, finish off the dragon and the manticore or something in the morning. Uh, I'll, wait, I'll, I'll see you guys here in a bit once I wake up. I guess I, I'm currently at slow mo one one billion right now or something like that. Try and make the time pass. Oh, 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 hold on, slow mo one. I'm about to wake up. Oh, oh my God, slow mo one. There you go. Jeez. All right, chainsaw time again. Hey, look at that. We're we're doing so well in health. Eat eat food. Chainsaw time. Chainsaw time. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was just punching him right there. That's what. Oh my God. I'm going to die. Ah! Oh, I'm knocked out again. <laughs> Oh my god, this is an absolute mess. There's Tyrannoms all over the place. Slow mo 1 trillion, and I was actually taking some damage as well. Oh, let's see. Slow mo 10. Am I going to wake up or is that going. I can't. Oh my. To I can't tell. Is my torpedo going up or down? Slow mo 1. Yes. I don't know what's happening right now. Slow mo 1. I'm just going to wait until. Oh, 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 we're about to wake up again. Oh! I'm going to wake up here. Oh no, I'm going to get knocked out again. Oh, no, those are all Tyrannons. I don't know where the Manticore and all that. Oh, oh, my Thorny Dragon is just kind of hanging out there in the background. <laughs> oh, no, there's the Dragon! Ah, let's get the chain, or uh, let's, get the, let's get the shotgun out. Trying to do some damage. Oh, my God, 77. Oh, my gosh. That was a ton of damage we just did right there. Let's get the chainsaw and try and hit him in that and face, cut his head off or something. Let's see, try and do... Oh, man, 6,000 damage from a chainsaw. Slice the Dragon's head off. Oh, land on top of him or something. Hold on, I'm trying to... Oh. Ah, go to his neck. Oh, it's not letting me go to his neck. Come on. Man, land on top of him or something. Nah, it's not letting me land on his hitbox or something. It's huge. All right, I guess I'll take him out. 
with the, with the, with the, with the there you go, shock, hey, dragon's dead, hey, that was easy. Now we got a bunch of Megapithecus minions floating around and stuff. Oh, eat a bunch of food, oh, look at that, look at that, the Megapithecus is just strapped by a guy over there, skinning with a chainsaw. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Oh, got him in the head. Oh my god, we're gonna get knocked out again, aren't we? Oh my god, we're actually not, we're not making any progress. Oh man, we did a thousand damage right there, though. We're not going to get any progress with the, uh, oh! That was pretty good damage right there, though. Not bad. He's got 40 to 50,000 health. Trying to hit him a bunch of times in the head with a shotgun. Oh! Oh, he's going to hit! Ah! Did he hit me right there? Oh, he did! I took, like, no damage right there. I'm not bragging. Oh, my God. You gotta reload. Nah. The Manticore's still alive, though. I might be able to chase all that guy, though. Let's see. Nah. Try and get the heckin' Mega Pithecus in the head and try and do as much damage as possible. Oh! 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 Of course, I know it's a second shotgun, so... Can't really have the, the greatest distance. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, I wonder what happened. Yeah, well, they don't have any torpedo. I was about to say, I wonder if I hit him with the origin arrow. <laughs> like, what happened then, right? But, uh, yep. There you go. I don't know. You hit him a couple more times, and I'll probably finish him off with the chainsaw just for the memes of it. You know, wait until he has, like, a tiny little sliver of health on his health, bo health bar. There you go. And one more. Eh, let's get him with the chainsaw. 4,000 health. We should be able to finish him off. Oh, God, there's the Egg Manticore. Ah, I can't see a thing. Slicing the manticore's heckin' wings off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to eat some food. Hold on, let me get away, let me get away. Just need to get a little bit of food. I don't wanna, I don't wanna start starving in the middle of the battle. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Did I do all that damage to the manticore right there? He's down about uh, 16,000 health. That's not bad. Where's the, oh, there's the mega thingus. Let me land on him. Let me slice his butt cheeks off or something. Just as like a killing blow. My, oh my God, he's reached any health. Man, I keep floating all over the place. He's got so many of these minions with 7,000 health and stuff. <laughs> Jeez, this is, this is such a weird boss battle here. Oh my god, he just knocked me across the map. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, that's my thorny dragon right there. Oh, speaking of dragon, hey, look at that. There's that dragon right there. How much else does he have on? Oh, man, he's pushing my thorny dragon around. He's bullying him. Come on, you land on top of him or something. Slice his head. There you go. Getting some good hits right there with the chainsaw. But now I'm floating. I'm swimming. Get out of the water. Do some damage to him. Oh my god, this, this strategy is so bad. <laughs> Try to can chase all the bosses. Ah, I got hit by the rock. Come on. Yeah, see, this is, this is, oh, there you go. You cut his legs off. There you go, doing decent damage, but now oh, I'm hungry again. Man, why am I always so hungry? Eh, you know what? Oh, got him. Mega Mythic is down. Oh, Manticore, hit him a couple times. Hit him in the head. Got him, very good damage there. Um, my torpedo is rising again. Hold on, hold on. Reloading. Oh, hit him a couple times. Hit him a couple times. Let's get some stimulants. Which one am I? Yep. No. Oh, it didn't, it didn't eat that. What? It didn't eat him. Ah, I think it's because I'm floating in midair. It won't let me eat stuff while I'm floating. Ah, all right. We got to land. Yeah, we, <laughs> look at all the heck of food I've got to eat. They're draining my health like crazy. Or draining my food, at least. Hold on. Let's get the medicine and boom. There you go. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, there's the manticore again. Yep. Oh, don't zoom in hardcore on him like that. Right, he's at about half health. Yeah, well, at least it's a little bit better than us literally one-shotting, like, every heckin' boss there like we did earlier, so... I guess it's a little bit better, huh? There you go. Especially because of distance with the heck shotgun, like I said. I'm not really gonna have the best accuracy, but... And, of course, I'm, I'm not hitting him in the head, get, doing the maximum amount of damage. Oh! Whoa, did he just teleport right there? Oh, I kind of feel like he did. There, you're getting some direct hits on him. Nice. I don't know, I might be able to... Oh, I intend... Uh, oh, wait, no, we got him right there! Nice! Awesome stuff. What's behind this gate? I don't know what's behind. I like. I never really looked at the heckin' scenery around here. <laughs> kind of curious about this big old gate right here. Like, what's what is this? Some sort of castle I got destroyed. Oh, I can't even go back there. It won't let me go back there. Man, there's like an invisible barrier here. Ah, I hate the invisible barriers and stuff like that. Hold on, let me see if I can float back there. Can I do it now? I'm like, it's not really. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, look at this. Ah, man, invisible barriers. Dumbest thing I've ever seen. I know it's that 30 seconds until we teleport. Hey, not too bad, I suppose. And this guy actually got a pretty decent amount of torpidity on him. I'm actually kind of surprised. And he lost about uh, about 11 million health. I don't know if he actually lost that during the battle or if that was just him not healing up from uh, other stuff <laughs> earlier on in the game. But uh, hey, there you go. I, I, I guess I'm a little bit more satisfied with that battle, even though like pretty much everything that we have is modded anyway. So there's no way we could have like a, a one to one fair battle, I guess you could say. Even like 99% of our hacking creatures that we have tamed are all of the... Uh, the, the, the modded variants of them, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess that's going to be the closest we're going to get to, like, a, a fair battle there with the alpha boss bosses and stuff like that, right? So, I guess I can't really complain too much, but... Oh my god, wh why, why is it so dark here, though? Like, look at this. That's, like, pitch black. I don't even know. Hey, it's probably going to be even worse on camera, because I know it usually sometimes it's really, really dark. 
like on footage, I have to actually heck and brighten it. But uh, I do not remember it. Like shadows. Oh my God! There's an origin thing over there. I don't remember shadows being like this dark. Like, golly! I don't know if is this gamma up or, or down or. See, this is close to what it looks like normally. I don't know. It seems like all all the shadows are like way too dark for some reason. I don't know what's going on with that. Seems like it only happened whenever we did the boss battle there. But uh, I guess we'll just go home real quick and get on our spirit wyvern and start flying around, trying to go to those like. Arrhenio Caves or whatever else and other caves that we could actually find around the map before we actually wrap up the series and start Arc Genesis Part 2, right? So, hey, at least we actually beat the bosses, the actual literal built-in bosses for Valgara there, so uh, mission accomplished there. Now all that's left is to just explore the map a little bit more and see what else we missed out on while we're completely distracted by Primal Fear and all that stuff, right? So, let me just go home, get on my Spirit Wyvern, I'll see you guys over at the Arrhenio Cave entrance, and we can start exploring that and see what's going on inside there, so I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back, and I, oh, 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 there you go, and I looked at the map, or looked at the explorer map that shows all the different cave entrances and stuff like that, and whenever you hover over it, it says what, like, what the point of interest is actually called. Now, this one's called the Abyss, and I was wondering, like, isn't this in water? And then, like, right when I came over here, I was like, you know what, I'm going to dive underwater, see if it's actually in there so I can record for you guys, but yeah, looks like there is indeed some sort of, uh, I don't know if I have a swimsuit or anything to... Well, I have this, but I don't think I need this. I think I have a, a helmet that actually helps me out quite a bit. You know what? Let, let's do like slow mode, like five. Just swim a little bit faster so we can. Yeah, see this. Very much Subnautica memes here. So what is this? Is this like a whole underground ocean or something here? <laughs> That's going to be like the, uh, the the Genesis Ocean biome or something like that, just randomly under the map. I would not be surprised. Like, look at this. Oh, I think it just loaded in the new area right there. Yeah, this is the abyss. And there's a and there's a heckin' megalodon. Look at that thing. Oh my god, it's a toxic megalodon too. Oh man, I'm going around with stamina here. Man, ah, slow mo one. There you go. Just kill it. Just kill the thing. Jeez, I'm going around hacking stamina. Come on, kill it. Ah, I can't get my torch out because we're underwater. <laughs> ah man, okay. I don't know if I can regain stamina by just being underwater like this. I doubt it though. I, I know whenever you're underwater and you lose the stamina, you're pretty much hecked. Because there's no way to get it back. Oh wait, no, never mind. We just randomly gained it back right there. Right when I said that. <laughs> Hold on, so let, let's, let's do another slow mo five. There you go. I just want to see what's under here, you know? Like, how big is this? Eh, slow mo like 10? Like, this has got to be hecking huge. Unless it's literally just this area here, right? A lot of bubbles over here you can see. Uh, can you mine this? No, you can't mine that. I'm like, this is like the last episode of Arc Valgar, I don't think it was, oh man, we, we have a base, or a, what's he called, Bazillosaurus right there? Got another uh, Megalodon right there, going, come towards me, boom, dead. Nice. Okay, let's get our stamina back, oh, nice, got my stamina back right there. I guess you could poop, yeah, you can get stamina back by pooping, I think, right? These are like giant silica pearl uh, clam things. Can't really get, oh wait, here, 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 so I guess it's kind of symbolizing, okay. Come over here and you'll get some silica pearls, hey, you. Now, I assume this is just going to go, like, empty out into the ocean, or like the river, or whatever. Because it doesn't seem like a huge biome, like the, like the, the, the aberration. I get one to say extinction there. But I don't, I don't think it's like it's, oh my god, I'm, am I getting killed or? I don't know if I'm actually getting, is it, oh my god, slow my one, I cannot, jeez, why is this, there we go, it's like a dead, golly, I can't see right now. It is like pitch I can black. Ah, it's because it's turning nighttime, man. Okay, there you go. Slow mo one or slow mo ten. <laughs> All right, let's go, go, go. Yeah, this area is heckin' huge. I don't know where I am on the map right now, but I'm moving as fast as I can without any heckin' flippers or anything else. I have to set like gamma to. Oh my god, man! Ah, I probably should. Oh, okay, let's get our stuff. Another heckin' me these megalodons are all over the heckin' place. They need to leave me alone. <laughs> oh, let's let's set gamma. I don't know, like to five. There, I was like, see a little bit easier. Is this get it goes down even deeper. Holy heck. Oh my gosh. Like if you're if you're down here, you you better set up like some sort of base, get one of those like vacuum things going. So you could actually have some sort of a base here with stuff stored inside for us. You'll be swimming here forever. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to swim, uh, you know, bring some Oh man, a mouse stamina. Oh my god, now I need to eat. Ah man. But I don't know why you'd bring any normal creature all the way into this deep abyss over here. It's just crazy. I don't know where I actually am on the map right now, though, but now I'm going to get attacked by all sorts of heckin' creatures. Slow-mo one! There you go. Man, 
Ah, I gotta kill these second Megalodons. Oh, man, I killed an Ichthyosaurus. Come on, kill the Megalodon. Oh my god, get over here. Just want to kill him. Well, at least it's a regular one. It's not a toxic one. It's more powerful, has more health and whatnot. There you go. Yeah, I don't really have to worry about the... Yeah, I can't eat while underwater, unfortunately, so that sucks. Where am I on the map? I'm all the way over here. Or, wait, hold on. There you go. I started about right here. And I'm still... Oh my gosh. This is just unnecessarily huge here, you guys. Like, golly. I'm just going to just move as much as possible. Maybe I'll, like, turn God mode on or something like that as well. I have to worry about getting attacked constantly here. I'm like, I'm mainly just trying to explore around here, and I can't really do that when I'm getting constantly harassed by sharks. <laughs> I don't know what else is down there. Oh, whoa, whoa. is it starting to brighten up? Over oh my god. Ah, man, I'm getting killed by the sharks again. Is there anything? Oh my god, there's actually something here. Hold on. Slow mo one. Kill the shark. Don't punch it. Oh my gosh. Kill the shark. Oh, it's a toxic. No, wait, no. How much health do these things have, by the way? 14,000. I have to hit him five times. There you go. Okay, nice. All right, so here we go. Oh, what in the world? I thought that was like an exit out of here. Man, it's just random crystals. What is this heckin' biome? Like, seriously. Why is this? Why does this even exist? There's so many, like, hidden things under here that no one's gonna know about. <laughs> Hold on, let's get another. Oh, I can't. I can't consume anything while underwater. Man. All right. Well, uh, slow mo. Yep. So I keep swimming around. I don't know where I'm going, but, uh. I'm gonna have to. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked again! Or at least harassed by that guy, golly. Oh my god, what in the world? I thought that was a Dunkleos. Yes, this is this. Oh jeez, the game's gonna crash! I think it's getting. Oh my god, the game can't handle it. It's loading in like never before loaded in areas of the map and it's gonna crash itself while on slow mo 10 or 1 trillion or whatever that is. <laughs> it's not moving, it's actually stuck. I think it's crashing. Man! Ah. Are you guys back? Just load up my game. I I'm just going to teleport all over the map and like fly command and stuff like that. Like, geez, we're really over here just exploring and whatnot, right? But over here's the other uh, spot. Oh my gosh, what in the world? Oh, there's like a buffoon Ferox or something like that over there. But anyways, here's a spider area with apparently has the brood mother or something like that. I'm like, I wouldn't be surprised. There's like spiders all over the place, Oranios and whatnot. There's like a golden one down there. What? Wait, tarantula? These are literal sp- I thought these were Oranios. No, these are actual, uh, tarantulas. Oh, this must be the cave. This must be the Oranio cave. As so I'm just floating around. I don't know why it's, like, so fast, by the way, whenever I'm flying- fly commanding like this. But I assume that it descends down. I guess- I guess I can melee her or something like that. I don't have my spirit wyvern over here. Like I said, I just teleported just because- I don't want to waste, like, a billion years trying to fly all over the place trying to get to these coordinates when I can just type them in and- do a heckin' teleport command, right? But there are literal tarantulas. Level 1148 right there, what? Holy heck. Let's, hold on, let's get this out, light it up. Oh man, this is perfect. Look at this, look at all this map that we missed out on. Because we're so distracted by other stuff, the primal fear, and look at all the spiders. I hope there are no arachnophobes in the comments. Because guy and then like, whatever, whatever the person afraid of snakes is either. Oh, there's a cave cave loot box or whatever that is right there. Oh my gosh, Alpha Titanobo over there too. Yeah, I don't know where this uh brood mother is you guys were talking about. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting like stung or something like that. I'm losing health. <laughs> Slowly but surely it seems. It seems like we just have to descend down or something. Oh, there's Agatinas down here too. Snail guys. I'm getting killed by Meganuras too. Man, alright, well I don't know where I'm going here to, to find the uh the brood mother's cave or whatever. Unless I'm already here and she just didn't spawn in. Oh, wait, hold on. Ugh, I hear, like, bubbling going on. Ugh. Nasty. Oh, man, more tarantulas and stuff. Frame rate is just taking an absolute nutter hit right now. At least there's creatures spawning down here, unlike, uh, with the aberration. Oh, there's a lot of spider webs here. Unlike the aberration one where there's, like, literally nothing there, right? I, 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 can't, I can't tell if I'm... Am I going up or am I going down here? Well, now I know... Oh. I'm definitely going down, golly, look at this! Where in the world's the brood mother at? I'm like, we missed out on so much here, you guys. This would be crazy if I was doing this without heckin' cheap flying and stuff like that. But of course, I don't I don't want to drag this series on for like another 10, 10 billion months and stuff like that. Alpha Titanobo, that thing is massive up close and personal like that, golly. I might be heading backwards. Yeah, I'm starting to gain elevation there, and I don't think that's where we need to go for the, uh... For the brood mother you guys were talking about. I don't know, is, if there's a brood mother here, I wonder if there's a cave for, like, the dragon. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in one of those mountains near our base. 
make a bit against that's probably somewhere around there. Uh, say, oh, whoa, here it is. This has got to be it, right? Look at this. L just look at this area. There's like glowing. Ugh. What in the world? It's like camouflage. It's like these are pulsating over here. Ugh. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to walk just so I can. I can eat. So it stops yelling at me. <laughs> there you go. Okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm still doing decently well in health right now. I'm like pff, full health, basically. I'm taking like maybe a damage. Oh, man, I've been wet. Oh, there's a tarantula. 80 million damage. Holy. <laughs> man, that's crazy. Oh, is that? Oh, ew, look at all those like eggs right there. Ugh. Hold on. Oh, toxic tarantula. That's, that's got to be primal fear doing that. I, I doubt that's Valgaro doing that. Oh, wait, what is this? What in the world? Why are there like sp ew, look at the snakes on the wall over there? Ew. Oh, it's a Nicotina shell. Okay. Oh my god, look at all the dead bodies hanging from the ceiling. Humans. Probably some sort of a uh, tyrannodon, it looks like, right there. Just looking at the shape of the head and the wings and stuff like that right there. Titanium armors killed them for 26 million damage each. <laughs> Man. How do we get the uh, the brood mother out here, though? I, don't know. I feel like she's like going to hatch out of this, which is crazy because she's the brood mother, but... I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something here. Like, she should be spawn... Oh, wait, hold on. Let's go down even more. Oh my gosh, it does. This is literally just to spook you, I think. Oh, wait. Ugh. Yeah, they, they put so much effort into the second map, and like 99% of the people probably won't see it. Like, I didn't see it until now. I literally had to be told about this. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not seeing any broodmother around here at all. I don't know. It might it might not. Uh, Prime of Fear might be conflicting with the broodmother that's supposed to spawn in over here, I bet. I would not be surprised. But I'm like, if she did spawn in, we could just one shot. We just literal multi millions. Oh wait, hold on. No, there's an artifact here. Oh my god, there actually are artifacts like out in the open. You don't even have to like kill an uh, artifact of the great. Well, then again, artifact. You kill one artifact of the great, you get. Uh, well, oh my god, Akatina literally falling from the sky right there. Kill one artifact of the great. I think you get three or four artifacts. I forget which one it is. Actually, I think it's both. I I, I think it's like an RNG thing. Like sometimes you get three, sometimes you get four. But this is super super creepy. Like, look at all the eggs and spider webs and that dead bodies hanging upside down, all covered in webs and wrapped up in that one tyrant on us over here. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see that one Rex that's like, T-Rex is like, webbed up as well. Frame rate is taking the biggest hit in the universe right now, you guys. It's crazy. So I, I need to, like, leave out of here. I might just pause real quick, actually, and just, t like, figure out my way out of here or just ghost through the walls. Try and go to the next cave location. So this was called... The layer, according to this explorer map, which is really cool. There are other uh, points of interest here. If you select like cave entrance, like if you want to find cave entrances, if you hover over some of them, they say tunnel and it shows, okay, there's one entrance and there's another uh, entrance or exit right there. So that's good that it just kind of says, okay, you don't need to actually go. Oh my God, there's another abyss over here. Oh my gosh, that heckin' underwater thing that we were in just a minute ago is huge. It literally spans a whole heckin' map. Like I'm not even joking right now. Holy heck. Oh, that, that that under that place that we aberration place. I guess that's called the Emerald Forest. That's what that's called. Whenever I hover over that, interesting stuff. And then there's another abyss right there as well. I'm, I'm trying to look for point of interest that have like oh the Lost Temple. Ooh, I'm, I'm trying to look for some that have like names like that. Like this one's called the uh, the Lair. There's a Lost Temple over here, and that abyss that we we're just in earlier with the underwater and the Emerald Forest, which we were in last episode. I guess we can go over to oh to, wait, what does it say? Taruki Falls Cave. Okay, so I guess there's like two more areas we can go to. Oh, and there's another exit for the uh, Emerald Forest. Interesting. I guess we'll go look at the Taruki Falls Cave and then the Lost Temple real quick. And then I guess we could end off of Valgaro because we're looking at all these like different caves and points of interest and whatever else around here, you guys. So this is pretty cool. Oh my God. Okay, I just tell them. Oh, jeez. Dilof Dilophosaurus is over here killing me randomly, but there's like explosions going off in the background. I don't know what that is. And I'm hungry again. What? Man. I don't know why ever, I'm, I'm so and hungry all the time. I'm eating literally 30 pieces of cooked meat right now and even more. Uh, what is that in the background? Alpha Enforcer? I don't know where it is. Oh man, whatever that is, like cleared out all the trees over here so I can actually see this temple. What's this called? A Lost Temple or something like that? Oh my gosh. Seriously, there's like, and there's like rocks flying in the sky back there too. Like seriously. Like this guy, who or whatever this is over here needs to settle the heck down. Yeah, buffoon Ferox. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> Jeez, just immediately kills me, golly. Man, ah, all right. <laughs> guess I have to head back over there we can look at that temple a little bit more. <laughs> all right, guess back. Just kill that buffoon Ferox just so we can actually look at the second temple over here. 
Now, I'm, I'm sure that this is going to be another, like, underground thing, because it's showing up on the cave. Like, like, points of interest thing on the explorer map. There's a random beehive right here. Oh, I can get that. Yeah, I don't need that. So, what I was, I was thinking about whenever I was loading in the map again was, yeah, if you're trying- Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, we haven't had these buttons since, like, Ragnarok. Button there, boom, opens this up. Holy heck. I don't think you guys have ever seen heckin' animations like this in Ark. Like, literally things just up, moving up and down like that. Except for, like, gates and stuff like that, obviously. Are there, uh, I think they're, like, oh, it's like a timer. Yeah, I think that's, that means the gate's gonna come. Ooh, just like that, y'all All right. Well, thankfully I have this, I can torch here so I can actually see a little bit better, but yeah, this is very reminiscent. If you guys remember from, uh, Val or, uh, was it Ragnarok? It was like a, a desert temple or something like that. A tiny little entrance that was, like, covered in sand and stuff like that. But once you get inside, it was, like, just, just a gigantic labyrinth. And look at this, it's starting to, like, spiral down. Oh my gosh, I didn't even get a good look of the actual temple from the- Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa there's, like, light rays. Whoa. But yeah, thankfully I do have this, uh, heckin' torch, so I can actually see- Oh my gosh, there's like- Ah, uh, yeah, this is very reminiscent of that heckin' labyrinth. I think it was literally called the labyrinth in, uh, Ragnarok, by the way. We need some way to open up that, I'm sure, and that's gonna be like- it, What I'm thinking is that every one of these, like, caves and temples and whatever else, they all lead down to one artifact, and of course- Oh my god, oh my gosh! Holy- <laughs> They all lead to, like, one artifact, so you need to get, like, to exploring hardcore around the map. If you want to do those boss battles like we did earlier on, like if, if you're not, if you don't have any mods installed, you have no way of getting the artifacts from like an artifact or the great or any other way, then yeah, this is this is how you have to get the heckin' artifacts is by exploring the whole entire heckin' map with these giant labyrinths and, and caves, and I'm sure there's one there with the abyss as well. Like that's probably why that exists, not like as like a, a place where people set up bases and stuff with like that underwater base. Well, I, mean, I guess it could, but. You know, I think the main purpose of that is, like, at the very end of the heckin' abyss swimway, I guess you can describe that as, oh my gosh. Uh, there's, like, an artifact, or maybe two or something like that, I don't know, but... It, holy heck. There's some sort of... obelisk there. What is that? Oh! God! Ah, oh, electrophoruses! Kill them all! For electrophorus? I don't know, I, I, I still don't know. They, they're both, they're both correct to me, at least. <laughs> Alright, there you go. You're falling into the water, little, little, little... Nautilus is down. I forgot what they're actually called in this, though. Uh, not Nidaria. That's the jellyfish, right? Oh my gosh, there's even more of that stuff right there. Holy heck. Uh, but there's like an, like I said, there's like a mini obelisk, like, right here. I don't know what that's doing. It's kind of weird. Yep. That's kind of strange. I might just, uh, fly mode and we can just kind of hang out around here and see if we can find the, uh, the artifact at the very end. Yeah, I guess there's no brood mother at the other one. The, the real prize of the lair that we're at just a minute ago was the artifact that you get, which I don't have right now because I died and I reloaded the save from earlier on. But this is actually really cool. I, I'm, I'm very upset that I missed out on all of this. I don't even know if any of these... Oh, there's dead end there, so we're going to go this way. But like, I, I, don't, I don't know if any of these caves and labyrinths and all this... I don't know if any of these were in the map a year and a half ago whenever we, uh, y you know... Because it was still in work in progress. Like, remember uh, the bottom... Le oh, you guys can't really see this. But, like, the bottom left part of the map was basically, like, nothing over there. Like, there, it wasn't the Redwoods or anything like that uh, a year and a half or so ago. Th they definitely upgraded the map. So, I don't know if any of these caves and stuff like that were in the map back then. You know, the first 45 or so episodes of Valgaro. I don't know if these existed back then or if they're exclusive now because, you know, it's, it's updated. It's a lot later. They pretty much finished the map, if not straight up finished the map. And, of course, there are speaking of maps... I think there's another DLC map coming out. Not, not, not a DLC map, but like an expansion map or... How, how, however they describe these free maps. <laughs> but, uh, you know, non-official, non-DLC maps. Oh my gosh, it just gets even deeper. I don't know how there are plants down here, by the way. Like, there's like no sunlight. And it, I know mushrooms are a thing. <laughs> but these are like little ferns and stuff like that. Like, I don't know what's going on with these. That looks like a giant beehive there. Oh my... Is there... Artifact? Did I reach it out now? It's just ruins over here. See, look, look, look at all this map design. It's so cool. There's like reflections or what? Something on stuff under here. Oh, hold on, is that a creature? Yep, yeah, electro, electrophorus or electrophorus. If I want to steer clear of them, I don't know if there's like a swimming section here we need to watch out for. But I'm just going to avoid all that down there. 
All right, well, we ba I I'd say we basically have this all explored here. Like, you guys kind of get the idea. A lot of slag tice, a lot of stalagmites, a lot of uh, electrophorus, a lot of eel guys, uh, nautilus guys, <laughs> whatever those ones were called in arc. But, oh man, look at that one right there. That's a huge slag type. Oh my gosh. Actually, yeah, th this, this cave does remind me of that cave back in uh, Aberration. I forget what it was called, though. Nah, that was a little bit more claustrophobic than this one, I guess you could describe it as. But yeah, I, I guess we'll go to the... There's like one other location, right? There was this lost temple, and then there's like another one, like some waterfall or something like that. I guess we'll see what that's all about. So let me let me go pull up those coordinates of that place real quick. And we'll go see what that's all about, and I guess we could end off Valgaro here. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez! Okay, that spawned me like directly in the heckin' thing here. Uh... Where am I? What is this? Oh man, whoa! Okay, so there's like a wa oh man, there's like four or five waterfalls here. Yeah, I don't know which one we were just inside of a minute ago. Oh man, there's explosions going on up there. What is that? Ah! Oh! oh my gosh, giant egg and boulders about to fall back in head. Someone left offerings over here. Little, little, little. What are the jerboas or whatever? Was I say? For those who have ascended, riot helmet there, chitin helmet. I can't tell what that is. Oh, it's a hide helmet. I don't think there's any other helmets there. Interesting. Oh, and boots down there as well. Oh, oh. Helmet, sword, boots. Oh, yeah. To symbolize those who have fallen, yeah. For those who have ascended, just like it says right there. Yeah, with the drabos and flowers is like uh, a gift to the, to the dead or whatever. <laughs> a gift to the dead or whatever. Oh, just just slagging it off like it's a piece of trash. Oh, whoa, what is this? Oh, there's a monkey over here with a rare flower I can't grab. Interesting. Look at this. And then there's like torches here. I'm sure these light up at night. And then there's like a tree up here. Interesting stuff. I don't know if these rocks have any like symbolism on them or anything like that. But uh, then I guess if you come up here, you might get on one of these rocks and be like, oh, whoa, behind uh, that waterfall. Where was it? This one? I don't know. One of these waterfalls is where the, uh, the coordinates were pointing. I think it's this one, right? No, this is... Yeah, it just goes into the ground. Oh, I bet, I bet, hold on. No, that's, yeah, it just goes into the ground as well. Might be one of these water, oh wait, nope. Yeah, there's nothing behind that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's actually anything behind any of these waterfalls here, you guys. It might just be this thing. But I guess because it's in the water, oh yeah, there's nothing behind here either. But I guess because it's, like, at the bottom of a waterfall, I guess it, for some reason, describes it as a cave? I don't know why. What was it called again? Taruki something. Uh, Taruki Falls Cave. I don't. I don't know where the cave part is. It says Taruki Falls Cave. Here's Taruki Falls. I guess. Interesting. I, I like the the design, the map design. Oh whoa! There's like a primal creature back there. Hold on. I wonder what happens if we follow the river back. Like what's all the way back here? Oh whoa! Is that? Oh, primal raptor. Okay, nothing too crazy there. I don't know if there's anything in the river itself, like at the bottom of the river. I'm going to keep following it. Okay, we have another... Oh, jeez! Oh, my gosh! Is there anything here behind this? I don't know. See, I don't want to waste time over here. I'm sure this video is long enough, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything here. I, I don't know. It, maybe they just, like, misclassified it on the Arc Wiki or something like that. Like, this isn't actually a cave. It's just, like, this cool little part of the map with, like, little symbolism and torches and swords and helmets and boots. As like an offering to the dead, uh, as respect. Oh, there's a little gall- gal Oh wait, no, it's like a mic mic wrapper or something like that there. Cool. Didn't see that guy the first time around. Oh wait, yeah, uh, Jerboa there, and there's that otter guy. Wait, no, hold on. Oh, is, is that a Ferox? Which one's the Jerboa and which one's the Ferox? They look so similar, I forget which one's which. I think that's the Ferox. And then we got the little, uh, mic wrapper guy right there. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, and then, yeah, there, there's the Mesopithecus. I don't know if there's anything else around here that are, like, shoulder-mounted critters that they have as statues, but... Either way, I, I guess we could end it off... Wow, look at this image right here, by the way. Holy heck. I guess we could end it off right here, you guys. We got a lot of exploring done these last couple episodes. Defeating the bosses. Defeating the, like, Primal Fear bosses, as well as the, uh... Valgaro bosses. Like, even though the Valgaro ones were really, really underwhelming, I'm like, they weren't really expecting me to be so, like, in late game with mods and Primal Fear and all that kind of stuff, so... 
I guess it just makes sense how heckin' over, over, overpowered we were compared to how they were expecting us, I'm sure, right? But, and especially because I didn't have, like, any other creatures. It was literally just me. And they had up to, uh, they allowed up to 20 creatures along with you for that boss battle. But I took literally just myself and a heckin' uh, Thorny Dragon, which just sat back and just watched. <laughs> but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the series here in Valgaro with us just messing around, memeing around, having fun with the mods for the first half, uh, or like three quarters or something like that. We are playing around with Pugnacia and Primal Fear, and then this last like quarter or third or so of the series, we pretty much focused primarily on Primal Fear, and we had a lot of fun, learned a lot of things, and well, all good things must come to an end, right? But you know, when one door closes, another one opens. So when we close the door here on Valgaro today, we can start looking forward to me opening the door for Arc Genesis Part 2. And I think for that, we're going to have a, a lightly modded series where we're not going to have any, any major mods like Primal Fear, Pugnacia, uh, what's it called? Uh, I forget, uh, AG Reborn, I think it's called. I don't know, Genesis Reborn. Uh, we're not going to have any of those like major overhaul mods for Arc Genesis Part 2. We're just going to have like light mods like like the Structures Plus mod or uh, not Structures Plus, what is it called? Super Structures, I think it's the new one, the new name of it. And then uh, maybe like AA, Automated Arc. Uh, like ultra stacks, you know, it's smaller little mods, and of course I'll be open to you guys' suggestions to add more mods here in the future, but before we start playing Arc Genesis Part 2 full-time here on the channel, we need to say goodbye to Arc Valgera, so thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and of course, while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell, because then YouTube will notify you as soon as Arc Genesis Part 2 starts up here on the channel with Episode 2 and a bunch of other shenaniganry we're going to be doing in Arc Genesis Part 2. So you guys will definitely not want to miss that. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more awesome videos. Oh, bye there. Oh.